Hi, uh, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about very basic Java entry question. What does Java class file contains? The Java class file is a file with a dot class file name extension containing a Java byte code which can be executed on Java virtual machine. JVM so class file is like it's the output whenever you compile your Java program you'll get an output the output will be Java dot class file so dot class file is like an instruction to your Java virtual machine the Java class file is produced by the Java compiler from Java programming language source files so you have your source file you give it to the compiler and it will produce the byte code if a source file has more than one class okay if your class has more than one class if your java file has more than one class each class is compiled into a separate class a class file in a java has dot class extension and contains bytecode which are instruction for java virtual machine if your uh, interviewer asking what exactly the bytecode is you can say it is the instruction for the jvm byte codes are the instruction for the JVM and not for Windows or the, or the OS okay byte code only an instruction for JVM so in turn JVM can talk to the OS okay a class file in Java has as dot class instruction and contains byte code which are instruction for JVM which then translates those byte code into platform specific mission level instruction okay based upon whether java programming is running on windows or linux actually the combination of class file okay bytecode and jvm makes java achieves platform independence i'll explain to you bytecode meant for jvm and not for machines i'll tell you what is that exactly so java code you are writing a hello world program and you are using compiler to get the byte code that is task cl dot class file you are getting this is just an instruction for jvm okay then you can tell how exactly this is executed in separate os see byte code is an instruction for jvm and jvm is specific to each os so this this os this jvm you cannot run in this in this os so this jvm is specific to windows and this JVM is specific to Linux and this JVM is specific to other OS. So the common thing here is this JV these JVMs can understand the bytecode and it can separately handle the OS. So that's why we are saying write once the Java code and run anywhere. Okay? So you write one bytecode, one Java file, and you get the cloud dot class file. I can and you can run anywhere because all this JVM can understand your byte code and it can it can instruct each OS okay these JVMs has the capability to instruct each OS okay and they are mutually exclusive okay that's how we are achieving platform independence let me show a source file okay so that you can understand so I have written a class here Java class demo it has a public class inside there is a class here okay the one class and the other class second class so if you compile it is creating two classes okay java class and these two class so i'm opening these two classes in a compiler decompiler so decompiler shows the inner class it is separately uh, compiled and placed it that's what we are trying to see here so in the second point Java class is produced by the Java compiler from Java programming language containing Java classes. If a source file has more than one class, each class is compiled into a separate class file. Just now I showed you in the decompiler. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you and all the best for your interview. If you like this video, please press the like button. Thank you.